In this episode, I'm going to install an aftermarket oil cooler. But first, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. Right now, we're up to 23. Let's keep growing. What is missing? Well, there's a lot missing, but right here in this area, you'll notice there's no oil cooler. That's because it is sitting down here miserably by itself. It's got a hole, if you've seen my other video, it's got a hole right, that's about it, right here. On the inside, I think, it, I'm guessing it's uh, right where this is supposed to seal off this the core. Anyways, it leaks, nonetheless, it's leaking, and it's got a bad leak, I don't, and I'm not going to mess with fixing it since get one of these um, aftermarket ones for pretty cheap yeah this is a um, one that I just got off of e uh, bought it off eBay I forgot who I bought it from but it's um, G plus performance parts and that might be just the distributors uh, sticker they put off of it after they imported this from uh, China or wherever um, but uh, it's supposed to be gold <laughs> it kind of looks like more of like beige to me gold is like that's like to me that's gold this is more of like uh, like beige like I was saying and um, so I might paint this later just to make it look better but it looks like uh, one of those old heaters in the apartments that you see in the, uh, and, and the thing is it's thick too it's like uh, twice the thickness of the of the uh, OEM one let me in fact let me grab and just see because I could be exaggerating like but hopefully I don't leak oil all over the place but there's the there's the difference right there um, but see how it goes only thing now I gotta figure out is how the heck I want to mount this thing. Um, I've got to figure out how I want to mount it because it's a lot different. Um, the factory one has obviously it has the the brackets that come off of it and bolts onto the existing uh, bracketry on the car right there and down here. Here's the one that goes up top. It mounts up here, um, right there, and it's nice, nice and clean look, you know. But uh, this is aluminum, so I won't be able to just weld on, weld on it, and um, so I have to kind of get creative and uh, figure out where I want to mount it. I think I'm going to pretty much go in the same spot and then I need to figure out um, you know the bracketry. So working on this um, on this car uh, I had to do a lot of that actually so it's uh, not going to be anything that that's really new to me but there's always a challenge it's always um, you know you always run into different things and I'm going to try to keep from welding um, I want to mainly do I'm probably going to try to use some existing holes like maybe this one right here those maybe the factory uh, holes and um, see if I can get by with those and then I'll have to get some L brackets which I've already got uh, these little brackets like that they're just uh, L-shaped and um, these are just uh, like two to two bucks from Lowe's but I have to um, uh, use these I'll probably have to use these I should say in order to uh, you know make this so anyway let's see what we can do all right so here's the that's the top right here. I got this first bracket on there. I'm, I just got one bolt in there holding it in for now. Bolt and nut. 
fetish. On the front of this um, uh, latch bolt, there's a, uh, there's a, I mean, on the front of the latch mount, there's a bolt that goes in. I think I'm going to try to utilize that so it'll sit, you know, like this. And um, that way I don't have to drill another hole. So that'll be my first my first point and then I'm gonna and then I'll work from there and see um, you know what I can come up with for the next mounting point I at least want to have three good three mounting points on this thing so I might be able to get away with two but um, I'm gonna try to get do three at least three that way you know it can be nice and sturdy All right, now, instead of using the uh, bottom middle bolt right here, I elected to move it up to the left side bolt uh, on the uh, hatch, or on the latch, excuse me, because it sits a little bit higher and this bumper is not blocking so much of it. It's more of in the factory position. Uh, so just got one of those brackets, use the hole right there and mounted it like this i had to do i had to make it like that because these brackets are um if you notice like the holes are not straight across so um i had to turn it in order to um get i wanted to get two bolts on this side so uh that way this won't uh the oil cooler won't be able to uh you know go back and forth and um and it will hold better so um, it's more secure that way. Uh, I ended up because it um, uh, this piece right here. I wouldn't. I had to cut that other hole that was right here. So I'm because I'm just using the one hole anyway. So um, there you have it right there. So so now we need to mount somewhere on the bottom. And look at this. This normally never happens to me. Um, I actually got lucky. Uh, the factory mount is this piece right here um, bolts to the back uh, bumper support and radiator support um, but if you just twist this up like this I mean look at that that's perfect right there all I need to do is tighten that third mount uh, what should I do maybe maybe I'll probably do something over here and with this hole with one of those brackets that I got the last one, not so pretty, unfortunately. Um, it, um, I used the top mount that goes on the factory mount. It L's off right here and comes down. Uh, I had to bend it a little bit, modify it just a little bit, and I put it up inside. Up inside, there's a hole here, and I um, put it up inside. There's a nut and bolt goes through the hole. And right here and I had to bend this I had to modify all this right here and bend it to uh, reach around to mount to this uh, hole right there on the oil cooler so not the prettiest thing I might try I'm probably gonna I might try to do something different later but I mean it works you know so I mean how often are you gonna be looking down there and be like ooh, that's ugly maybe every time you open the hood but still <laughs> It works, so, uh, and, I mean, and this is nice and sturdy. Yeah. We're, I'm happy with, uh, let me try that again. So, there's no movements or anything like that. Having the three mounting points. I, will, I, I was going to do a, um, an L bracket here, a long one that goes right here, and then and it L's off here, and there's a, actually that would be much better than this top one just for aesthetic reasons but um, I kind of like having the top mounted as well I might just go ahead and do that one down down here too even though really no need to I mean it's nice and sturdy but um, you know it never hurts I guess the more the merrier it could be um, now I'm just waiting for my uh, AN fittings to come in they're 10 AN fittings 
Um, I'll come off and uh, route down through that mystery hole to the engine and uh, oil uh, pan. So, let me get back up here and I'll let you look at the, uh, let's just see what it looks like. There it is. Didn't it didn't actually take too long. It was pretty straightforward. Um, and I'm happy with it. So that's what matters. And here we have the finished product. Uh, obviously, you could see I painted it blue. And I just wanted to get rid of that uh, beige color. Because it just didn't really go. Uh, it looked alright actually, but I just wanted to go with... Uh, I like this blue a lot. <laughs> Alright, this is the final one. I'm telling you, I promise this time. Uh, I just wanted to show that I got everything hooked up as far as the uh, oil cooler goes. Um, got those uh, 10AN fittings. I had to get a reducer right here, 90 degrees. That's the intake and the, the, uh, the exhaust or whatever you want to call that, where it goes back into the oil pan is right here. And that goes into a um, a reducer as well. And it cuts it down to um, a smaller size. But there are no leaks, I'm happy to say. 100% no leaks. So there you have it. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. Oil pressure's looking good. Hope you can hear me, but oil pressure's looking good. Temperature's up to par there. Um, probably almost out of fuel, but um, I don't know. So I'm happy that I got my uh, gauges working. I got the, um, so yeah, there you have it. Like and subscribe if you, um, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate it.